Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, first painting tutorial. Today we're going to be painting a face. So I am using Lanreal Greyleaf from Reaper, the Dungeon Dwellers set. As for colors I will be using today, I'll be using the Off-White from Game Color made by Vallejo along with uh, the tanned skin colors from Reaper, shadow, skin, and highlight, as well as pure black, winter blue, and ice blue. It's kind of faded, but yeah. Brushes I will be using are from the Army Painter. I have see if I can get in the thing character insane detail and the psycho all right so let's get started on the face so to start off the faces I'm gonna lay him down I start with the off-white color and I'm gonna go with the eyes first oops it's a lot of paint that's whatever I like to start with the eyes because I can work my way out from there and it's easier to fix if need be so I'm starting with the character brush using the off-white get a little bit on there and I'm gonna start painting in the eyeballs so this doesn't have to be exact can't really see but that's okay and I'll just fill in the area where the eyes are a little bit above and a little bit below and usually across the bridge of the nose I find it gives me more space to get the irises and such correct I hope it's not super loud when I wash off my brushes um, yeah so we will let that dry and then we will add a second coat to it. So now that the first coat is dry, we'll go in, add a second coat. Again, covering the area where the eyes are. Try not to let it glob in there. As well as a little bit above, a little bit below, and then across the bridge of the nose. These are my methods, so if you find something that works best for you, by all means do that. But I use this method because I find it easier to have the space to be able to work in the irises and such. Now we're going to let this dry and then we will work on the actual irises. Alright, so now that that is dry, we're going to take the Winter Blue from Reaper. Get a little bit on my palette here. Don't need much. And then I'm going to, again, take my character brush. Get the tiniest little bit just on the tip. Dragging it across the palette will kind of ensure that only a little bit gets on there. All right. So we'll take our friend here, and then we will paint a line going down where his eye should be. On either side. That way, we can gauge where we decide his eyes should be. Looks a little funky. It works though. Sometimes going from top to bottom, bottom to top, helps in all the directions. You want to make sure that you leave some white space on either side of the iris, on the left and the right 
just to give that eyeball effect. All right, so now that that is done, that should dry relatively quickly. We'll take the ice blue now to kind of give some, some depth and light to the eyes. All right. Now let's take our insane detail brush from Army Painter. Again, just as before, get the smallest amount of paint on that brush, teeny tiny little bit. And we'll do the same thing. Um, we'll paint a line on the inside of the darker winter blue. This gives an interesting effect to the eyes where you have kind of the dark outside and the lighter inside. Always wash your brush. I'm going to do another thin line just to see if we can get it a little brighter. Perfect. Cool. All right. Now we're going to take our pure black from Reaper. Be sure to shake it up really well. And this is where we will start to shape our eyes and hopefully get a decent pupil in there. So again, I'm taking my insane detail pulling out the paint to get just a little bit on there and I'm going to paint around the bottom of the eye and the top of the eye for both sides this will kind of define the eye shape that I want and I've found that starting out farther away and working your way up has helped me in keeping sure that I am not making him too squinty or making him too anime-like, which if either one of those styles is what you're going for, then go for it. But for him, I'm going to try to do something normal, I guess. All right. And don't worry about getting it all over the face, because we'll fix that when we start to paint the skin. Try to cover that bridge. Again, making sure that you leave some white on either side of the iris. so that the defined eye is there. All right. Now we'll let this dry and then we will start painting the skin. All right, so now that the black has dried and we have the eye definition there. I'm going to take the tan skin paint from Reaper. Be sure to shake it up. Put some down. I always put too much paint on my palette. Always, always. It's terrible. All right, and I'm going to start with insane detail. I'm going to pull this paint out and I'm going to start layering on the face building up to the eye. So we'll start out around the mouth. You don't want too much paint on your brush or it'll glob and it won't quite lay smooth. And I'm going to work my way up to the eyes 
and I'm gonna try to leave a small thin line of black this helps with kind of giving that shadow look as well as eyelashes and really making the eyes pop in general. I hate that phrase, but I'm using it anyway. So painting up to the black line, trying to leave a small line there. Going nice and slow. No need to rush. Nobody's timing us, right? If you are, then stop. Nobody wants that. All right. So there's the bottom. And start in on the top. Going down the bridge of the nose, just on the top. And across the top of the eyelid. Again, trying to leave a small, thin line of black. To give a good effect. Sometimes I will paint into the hair just to make sure that I get all little crevices of the face. I will probably do two or three layers of the skin just to make sure that it's nice and solid and opaque when we go in to add the shadows and the highlights. Lost a bit of the black line over on this eye right here, but that's all right. So you can see I am building up to the eyes. All right, we will let that dry and then we'll add another layer. All right, let's go in for another layer. Again, starting at the bottom, working my way up. Trying not to flood the mini with paint. Just getting thin layers of paint on there. You can always add more if need be. I think that's good for the base. And then once this dries, we'll go in with some shadows. So now that that has dried, we're going to take our tanned shadow from Reaper, shake it up and get some on the palette. Just a little. All right. Again, using the insane detail. Let's get a little bit on the brush and get some shadows in. So I'm going to go right above the eyes. Oh, I have too much. If you can see, 
right there. It's kind of globbed on there. I want to make sure I only have a thin, just a little amount. This is better. I don't know if you could see that better, but much less glob. Oh my glob. All right, going right above the eye. This tan shadow is only a slightly different tint. And the regular skin, it just gives some depth to it. Right above the eyes, on either side of the nose. Thin layers, small pulls of the brush. And then we'll get some more. Under the nose and across the mouth. Get right under the cheekbones. Both sides. A little bit more on this side because he's got his hair there. Under the hairline. And down the neck. Again, don't worry if it kind of gets all over everything. We can fix that later when we go in for the robes. All right, so we've got some, uh, some good shadows there. And that should dry relatively quickly, and we'll get some highlight. For the highlight, I'm going to change brushes from the Insane Detail and go for the Psycho. Psycho is teeny tiny, teeny tiny, has a nice point, it's good. Alright, get some paint on there and I'm going to go down the bridge of the nose, kind of right above this eye, across the forehead. I'll hit the top of his cheek on that side, right below the eye. And do the same on the other side, hit the top of that cheekbone. This one probably a little bit bolder than the other side. That can be the side of our light source. Pull down right there. And then I'll take a little bit and go at the bottom of his bottom lip. And the bottom of his chin, just to give a little more depth to his face. All right. Now, something else that I try to do sometimes, if the mini allows for it, is to take a little bit just on the very tip and do a dot on either side of his nose for nostrils. It doesn't always come out, but when it does, Again, it gives an interesting depth to the face. So, there we go. We have a face. Cool. Ta-da! I hope this was helpful for you. It took me forever to get faces. I wouldn't say right, because... 
They're rarely right, but close enough to be acceptable for me. Now, if you notice, I did not paint pupils on this guy. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, but I feel like it works regardless. So, cool. I hope you enjoy it. We'll do more soon. Thanks, guys. <laughs>